everyone, the new time travel behind me 88. I'm back for another VHS video review. Today, right here, we have is th this. This is there's is, I have two different versions. We're showing Star Trek the Cage. Now I got two different versions. Which one is the original? Which one is the first video came out first, or which one came out later? Started first. You give up? This came out. The original 19. This is the first ever pilot version of the cage. And this is the the mix of color and black and white film print. The plot begins. The crew of the Starship Enterprise receive a distress call from a planet called Talos IV. Captain Christopher Pike demands a transmission. And there's no contact. They've been seeing asteroids. Beacon. As Lieutenant Spock, as we mentioned, that the, the call letters check what this serves. SS Columbia disappeared approximately 18 years ago. The Talos group has never been explored to the planet of Class M, oxygen atmosphere. Pike went to his ready room, or to his quarter cabin, excuse me. There are, are no ready rooms back then. Dr. Piper told the captain what's happened. Pike told him that he lost 18 men, including his, his yeoman. He's fighting on Rigel and everything else. And he said, you bet I'm tired. You bet. I'm tired for being responsible for three men, 330 men, who go down there and live and who dies. They receive a distress call. They've just been crash survivors on Talos. The Enterprise receives a general broadcast message saying, We're going to investigate the planet Talos 4. So that means the crew of the Enterprise beams down there and they found a survivor. But only one survivor, her girl name is Vina. Vina. Tells that there is Adam and Eve chose Adam and Eve. There's a lot of great things going on, including the green woman and among others. This is a great episode for all Star Trek fans out there. Let's take a look at self on the tape itself. The back of I mean, the spine. The back the cage is reconstructed in black and white footage with Gene Rottenberry's work print and the color footage from the menagerie. Here's the picture of the color. It's a black and white photograph of Mr. Spock. This was done in 19... This is 1986. Yep. Sticker and label. That's what it exactly says on there. Um, this is the first pilot began, came out in 1986, with the word here says, Special Remarks by Gene Rottenberry. This episode, Rottenberry is stated that he destroyed, he believed he destroyed the color print of the cage. That leaving a 16 millimeter black and white film print that was shown in the conventions during the early, late 60s to the early 70s. After the first pilot began, NBC re decided to reject the first pilot for being too cerebral. And they want to commission a second pilot. To celebrating the 20 years of Star Trek and back in 1986, Paramount Home Video released this version first as an unair pilot episode with remarks from Gene Rottenberry from the Star Trek movie set. It explains how the origins, how the show begins, plus the letter 
TV censors. Let them uh, have to pay a fine of some sort. He don't want. He don't want that. Go on to a sci-fi show. Also open as Wagon Train to the Stars. This releases a mix of wraparound featuring a black and white film print, work print from Gene Rottenberry. After that release, plus the interchange of color wraparound from the Menagerie, the clip. That was Star Trek decided to edit it, the program into incorporating to two parts called the Menagerie. In 1987, a film archive discovered that an unmarked can film trims plus some missing portions on there. They discovered that there is a colorized version of this particular episode. This was the colorized version right here was first aired on 1988, October 3rd, 1988 as part of the Star Trek The Next Generation Saga from one generation to the next, hosted by Patrick Stewart. Man, 24 years ago, they have they released a full color version, first time on syndication broadcast. Yep, they used a colorized version. The painting is looking different, but it's no blue border as this one. The spine, the top, back. It reads a special collector's issue includes a lost lost color footage believed to have been destroyed from Gene Rottenberry's pilot episode of the Star Trek television series. In late 1988, Paramount Picture was able to require the lost footage and results in this splendid restored color version the way it was originally shot and meant to be seen. This was restored in 1988. Yep. By Paramount Picture, they was discovered from the Paramount Vault. This is the a full colorized copy of the cage released on VHS in 1989. Here's the sticker and the label. On the cage on this VHS release, it has the Paramount Home Video of the 1989 in a blue background, then the warning screen, and the 1982 Paramount Home Video logo and start of the film. And the introduction. On this copy, it has the night the colorized version of the cage, was labeled All Color Collector Edition. It has the Paramount Home Video. Feature presentation, 1989, blue border, the copyright notice, the warning. Then the 1990 Paramount, Home, Paramount Picture logo in a videotape version. Yep. Yep. This is a great one. Star Trek, The Cage, great one. I had also this copy on DVD also. Well, that's it from here. You can leave me a comment, rate, and comment. Subscribe to my channel. This is the new Time Travel Jaime 88 saying so long.